Hi, uh, welcome to my tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how I made this necklace and also the paper covered necklace which um, was on my blog recently. Um, there's a few other tutorials out there on how to do it but I'm going to show you how to do it using only Stampin' Up! supplies. Um, so let's get started. Okay, first of all we're going to need a washer. I've got two here. This one I'm going to emboss and this one I'm going to cover in paper. Okay, I just picked them up from the hardware store um, and they come in various different sizes. Okay, I'm going to start with this one first and we're going to do the embossing one. I'm going to use um, this stamp which is from the Winter Post stamp set. Um, obviously I'm not going to use this but I just want the, the wiggly stripes. Okay, so I'm going to need some silver embossing powder and my Vestmark pad. Rubby, it's well used. Okay, I'm also going to be needing my pliers to help me pick it up in a minute. Okay, so I'm just squishing my my washer into my ink pad so that it's got lots of verse mark ink on it, which is going to make it all sticky so that it will pick up the embossing powder. And then I'm just going to give it a bit of a shake and I'm just going to push my necklace, push the washer into the powder. This is where the fire's coming. Okay. Tap off the excess powder. That's perfect. And then I'm going to use my heat gun. I'm going to have my stamp ready. I'm going to use my heat gun and I'm going to heat up the embossing powder. It's going to be a bit noisy, so I'll be back talking to you in a second. Okay, as you can see I've melted that. I'm just going to take my stamp and push it into the embossing powder, which is still a little bit warm and tacky. So I'm going to push my stamp into it let it cool down. Try not to wiggle your stamp too much and then pull your stamp out. And what you'll find is that you've left an impression. Okay, just as I did on this one. You can repeat the process if you want. You can put more than one layer of embossing powder on. I'm going to leave that to cool down for a minute. And be careful because obviously it's metal and it's going to be hot. <laughs> that to one side. Okay, now the next version that we're going to do is we're going to use um, the large one. I'm going to choose some pattern paper. You can use any pattern that you want. I think I'm going to use this one today to make it bright and colourful. And I'm going to turn the paper over and I'm going to turn the washer over as well. And I need a pencil or a pen. And I'm just going to draw around the outside of my washer. Sorry, you can hear my son in the background. <laughs> and now I've got the shape, and I'm just going to cut that out. Then the next thing that I want to do is basically I want to use the smooth side is going to go against my neck and the rough side is going to have the paper on it. So we're going to use some crystal effects, which is lovely stuff. I'm just going to put some crystal effects on there and use my paintbrush just to smooth that out so that it goes everywhere. I'm 
lay that on the top. And then I'm going to put that to one side to dry for a minute. And we'll come back to this one. Now this one is cooled down enough so that I can I can touch it. And I've got a couple of bubbles in it, so that's fine. So I think what I'm going to do is we're going to add a gem to it. I think we'll go with a pearl today. Just add to my pretty kit. And just where those bubbles are, I'm just going to make the most of those, I think. Now I've got got my pearls and my stripe. I'm just gonna remove those a minute, and it's it's cooled down sufficiently. We're gonna put some crystal effects over the top of the necklace. I don't want too much on there, but I do want enough. The reason we're doing that is because the embossing powder um, can sometimes be a bit soft. So this will just add another. A layer to it. If you wanted to add colour to the necklace, maybe where the stripes are, you could do that before you put the crystal effects on. Sorry. And then I'm just gonna put my pearls on. Oh, Gonna leave that to dry. And we'll come back to this one. I'm gonna use a nail file just to make sure that all my edges are neat. Just the same as you would do with the chipboard. Now obviously my nail file isn't necessarily gonna fit in the middle, so I'm just gonna push my edges down with the end of my paintbrush and I'm just going to put some more crystal effects on the top and just smooth that out to the edges there we go and once those are both dry We'll have our finished necklaces. And here's the one that I made earlier. This is my necklace. And all I've done is I've taken a piece of cord, which I have tied and looped into a necklace. I've threaded it through the center and then just looped it around. Obviously, making sure that the cord is long enough to go over my head got a catch on. Okay, thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Bye!